Hey Guadalupe, um, I really enjoyed your video. It gave me some uh, good points that I actually didn't really think about too much, especially when it came to um, the problems that could arise that could affect the, re the reliability of um, some of the assessments. Um, so first I just want to address, I like um, your, I like your um, ideas for the formative assessments, like writing down, like having your students write down the main point of what they just read, or uh, and also writing down something that confused them. I think that is just um, that will just make more opportunities to learn um, arise. So I think that'll be good. It'll just help them get some more clarification on something they um, on something they need clarification on, or it can just really show you that they're um, really understanding the text that they're reading. Um, so going to the um, bias it, or going to the the things that can make a assessment unreliable um, the only things that I really thought about when I was doing mine is just the teacher biases um, so I really um, like the other um, reliability issues that you said which were um, not allowing enough time for a student to take an assessment um, a student's reading ability like if they um, I know you said if they have a trouble understanding a question, then you know the answer might not be accurate. And I know I've seen in the classroom where um, if a student has a question about a test, um, a lot of the times the teacher won't answer it because they don't want to answer it and give them the answer. Like they don't know how to explain it without giving them the answer. So sometimes they'll just have to guess and you're right, it won't be accurate. Um, and then also test anxiety and not believing in themselves. I think that's a big thing, like the social, emotional well-being of the student during a, uh, an assessment is really huge because if they're having a real, like a bad day or something, then it won't, it won't reflect their actual academic or test ability. Um, so, yeah, thank you for your video. I really enjoyed it.